Hi there, I'm Sarah Breyer from Showgirl Coaching. Today's video is about financial confidence. Now, I'm not a um, financial expert. Um, I'm not regulated by anybody, but what I do know is confidence. And it's one of the things that holds us back in our confidence and our self-esteem is if we don't have confidence in our finances. Debt is scary. It's so easy to put our head in the sand, but it catches up with you, as some of you will know. Money is scary. How do you make sure that you're doing the right thing with it? You don't get a course to go on once you receive your first paycheck, right? There's no advice beforehand on how to deal with the spiral in debt that starts at a £100 overdraft or what happens when a relationship goes wrong and you get lumbered with all the debt. Allowing ourselves to be a bit blasé about money and to let others handle it for us diminishes our confidence over time. When you're in an overdraft that you've got no idea how you spent it or a credit card when you only pay the minimum payment or you've got multiple payday loans are not going to help your confidence overall. The most confident you can feel is when you can see how much a bank will lend you. When you have your first mortgage or your loan for your car, you know exactly what that loan is for and how you're going to pay it back. And you've got something to show for it. To get financial confidence, you need to be able to budget weekly and monthly, whether you are on job seekers allowance or you've got a really great job with a really great paycheck. You should be able to pay your outstanding bills and be able to choose things like your best utility provider being able to have the confidence to swap these things around and choose the right options financially for you gives you confidence. You need to understand what a priority and a non-priority bill is. When we are in such worrying times where people are losing their jobs, there are things that can help you. Um, government schemes, um, payment holidays, you need to understand what those are and understand what your priority bills are what must be paid otherwise it will be taken away from you like your mortgage or your water bill your gas bill understanding banking how they work how um, overdrafts and credit cards work and rates of pay apr what does it all mean is really useful when you're selecting a good financial product payday loans are great as a payday loan a few days to um, borrow a, a little bit of money until you get paid is great but payday loans over months and months and months will cost you a fortune borrowing safely so borrowing money in a safe way where you're going to be protected you're going to be your interests are going to be protected as well as um, a decent rate of return um, a decent payment rate back to the business that you're borrowing from you need to encourage yourself to have positive spending habits. So spending well, um, looking for uh, bargains and shopping wisely, secondhand where you can. Do you really need these things? There's a load of resources out there, especially at the moment, that are really helping people try and have no spend January and, you know, really having potluck dinners by what's in the freezer. We do that quite a lot. But if you're working on you, and your own self-esteem and your own confidence and you want to tackle money confidence so have a look at your finances be really honest with yourself write down everything everywhere that you owe um, money to go to uh, the spending reports credit karma and experian have different things on them sign up for these free services where you can see exactly what's on your credit file and who you owe money to it's not as scary as you might think if you're getting letters through the post that are asking for, for balances that you can't afford to pay, call them, talk to them. They deal with people like you all the time and deal with people like me all the time that have in a bit of trouble. And they can put in payment plans, freeze interest, all sorts of stuff. So don't be afraid to just tackle it. Get confident, write it all down and start tackling each one, one by one. You need to be honest with yourself about your debt <clears throat> and you need to get payment plans in place, understanding what income you've got coming in and how you're going to be able to pay things, even if it's a pound a month, just to show willing, if you're unemployed at the moment, will be something and it's not going to be debt, piling on debt with more interest and more interest until it just becomes really stressful. 
And if you're not in a place where you're in debt, maybe start saving for something. Um, start, um, think about something that you would like to save up for, your new house, your new car, uh, a fancy handbag, you know, whatever, you, whatever interests you the most and start saving up for it. The confidence of being in control of your money, including your debt, will, will help towards your overall confidence. It's these tiny little pieces of you that are confident at work, confident at home, confident with your family, confident with money, will create a confident being. One client told me that they'd buried their head in the sand for so long, wishing that it would all go away. And it was only when talking about money out loud and actually coming up with a bit of a plan and changing their mindset around it that, you know, when you spoke to the bank, they weren't just going to shout at you. Um, they realised that it wasn't that bad. And after that conversation, they had the best night's sleep than, that they'd had in years. Sometimes we need support with some of this. And as a coach, I've helped many people get a handle on things like their finances by changing the mindset, by being a safe space. Sometimes you don't want to talk to people at home about money. It's embarrassing, you know, if especially if you're in a bit of trouble. But helping to understand your own behaviour, why you spend in the way you do, why you're burying your head in the sand the way you do, will help change and be more confident and help you to cope with how bad it is or how bad it actually really isn't. So the key message is be financially confident, be brave, go and have a look at it all um, and see, see where you are. If you need a coach, you can head over to showgirlcoaching.com where you can book a free discovery session to see whether a coach is right for you. We can have a chat about, about this sort of um, subject like financial confidence and to see whether a coach is the right thing or, or maybe you just need a, a bit of advice or, or an ear. So head over there, book that session. I've got blogs and all sorts of other videos that will help with different elements of your confidence. So have a great day and I hope to see you next time.